Hey y'all, I'm Danny, and this is Heard. Hi guys, welcome back to Heard the Podcast. I am your wonderful host, Danny, and it's been a while. It's been a while. I've been sick. I've been this. I've been that. I've been busy, but I'm back. And this will be the last show of 2022. And I will see you guys again in 2023. But in the meantime, let's talk about some bullshit because I got a lot going on. Um, J Rob, I actually want you to have a mic. This for the last episode of the year, J Rob. Come on, get on the mic real quick. I can hear you. Awesome. Hello. I can hear you. All right. Okay. So, on to the show. I don't have much. I don't. I don't have any quick, quick little things. Did you have any quick things that you wanted to um bring up? Like any shout outs, any accomplishments that you that you've seen online or in your life or in in real time? Uh, any shout outs? I have nothing. Mm-hmm. I have nothing. Shout out everybody nothing. doing a thing. Rihanna showed her baby. I seen the baby. Before. He is so cute. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> he is so cute. She said that she had to um so Hollywood Unlocked posted the pictures of her baby. Um she allowed them to do that. Mm-hmm. She said that she um they said that um paparazzi caught photos because they were her and Asa Rocky were doing a photo shoot with the baby, I guess somewhere out in Malibu or something like that. Mm-hmm. I guess paparazzi um caught the pics of the baby and they threatened to release them and then Rihanna, you know, just you know got ahead of got ahead of things and just Went ahead and released pictures of her baby um, through Hollywood Unlocked, um, which is kind of like fucked up. It's like, damn, like she was forced to share her photos like she couldn't, you know, share them on her own time. So that was, you know, that was annoying. But I mean, the baby's cute. I'm happy. I, I now, now I'm being greedy. Now I'm like, damn, like I want to know the damn baby's name. What's the baby name? Like, what's know. the baby name? Shout out to I, have a, I have a I have a I have a. um. I think that the baby's name, at least, I think the baby's name starts with with an R. Yeah, Riley. It's like no, that's no. a cute name. Oh no, that might be a Caribbean name too. I think. Is it? Riley. Mm-hmm. Um, is it? I'm not sure, but no. Um, I definitely feel like the baby's name starts with an R because you know Rihanna's name starts with an R. Right. ASAP Rocky's name starts with an R. I think her brothers. I think her brothers' names start with R's. I just feel like it's hope, all R's. They're all, you know, what I'm saying. So it's like that would be cute if their baby's name started with an R. But if it doesn't, that's fine too. But I'm saying that would be really cute. Shout out to the R's. Yeah, shout out to the R's. Yes. Anywho, <laughs> um, moving along. You said you had nothing to bring up. Shout out to everybody. Just a shout out to everybody. Yeah, shout out to everybody. Yeah, shout out to everybody. Shout out to everybody. Yeah. Um, the last, the last recording of the year. We'll be back in 2023. You know, what I'm saying. Hey. Anywho. I have some I have some mess and I try to at first when I wrote down the things on my list I try to like you know put it in order like you know like lump it up together like by category or by like mess by mm-hmm. stupidity or whatever but <laughs> I just wrote I just, yeah I just wrote my I just wrote the shit down and it is what it is we're gonna we're gonna fly through these things okay <laughs> all right anywho so did you see about uh it was a couple of artists that were like posting um, about how they want to, they want, you know, they need a personal assistant. You uh, know, Glorilla posted something, R. Linux it. posted something. Mm-hmm. Um, and, you know, Glorilla, her posting, she actually posted the wage um, of the position. So she said that <laughs> uh, she wants a personal assistant. Um, and the pay is five hundred and fifty dollars a week, mm-hmm. and everyone was saying like, "What the fuck?" Like, hell no. So, um, you know, in my opinion, mm-hmm. well, for me, someone like me, five fifty a week. What's that like? In two weeks, that's what like okay. eleven hundred some shit like that. Yeah. That's not a lot of money. You know, for someone like us, we have bills, we're adults, we have cars, we have this, we have that, we have rent, blah, 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 blah. you know what I'm saying? Right, right. That's not a lot of money at all. Plus, 550 a week, plus, like, taxes or whatever, or maybe, the things, I'm not sure if this will be, like, one of those, um, what do you call it, those, one of those, um, what do you call it when you're an independent contractor? Is it a, t- a 1090 or something like that, or, like, a, um... Something like that, where maybe like they that. don't get taxes taken out, I don't know what it is, I don't know, but, you know, there was a whole big debate about how 
you know, you can't, you know, this is opportunity, you know, this is a good, this is a good opportunity. They're covering flights and, and, and you get to meet all these people and, you know, this could be a stepping stone for you and blah, blah, blah. And my whole thing was this, right? I believe as an adult, again, that wage is not a lot of money. That's not enough for my lifestyle personally. And then also I just feel like, you know, yeah, they'll probably meet different people, but you're still an assistant. You're still on, you're still working. You're still, you're, you're not there to network. You're there to work for the person, the like the artist, the Glorilla. You know what I mean? So it's just like, I feel like that's not a very, that's, that's something that you just wouldn't say out loud. Like, it's just like, why would you say that out loud? You know what I mean? Like, I mean, say it to yourself. Like, that's something that you could keep to yourself. Like, oh, I would meet Drake and I can I can say hi to Drake and then I'll get sure. Cool. But you're still working. And I just feel like to the person that hired you, I feel like that could I mean, you could you could be seen as like a flight risk, in my opinion, because you only got that job for clout. You know what I'm saying? And, and what, what if you get the right clout, you gone mm-hmm. and they got to find another assistant to pay five hundred dollars for. You know what I'm saying? That's true. That's I don't know. I just feel like that's not. Uh, and then also, like when it comes to that, they first of all, like like I said, a lot of those artists, they were asking for assistance around the same time. Like I said, Ari Lennox and Glover right. And I had one of my friends DM me Ari Lennox post about an assistance. Like, oh, this would be really good for you, Danielle. I'm like, are you like, did you really send me this, girl? Stop. Like, cause you have a podcast. But like, Danny, that's my point. Like, well, I, I'm not want to be here. Like, no. And you gotta get paid. Damn, I'm like, this ain't this ain't shit. What the <laughs> fuck? Why would you send me this? Like, girl, stop. Like, stop. How it. much you need a month? How much, how you, need much to top, you, like? you need to top my you need to top my 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 uh top my job now. At least ten. At least give 10. me double. At least ten. Ten what? Ten K. Give month. me ten K. Give me ten K a week. Oh, I like fuck that. Fuck you talking about. Boss lady, forty eight. Ten K a motherfucking Let's week. Let's go. Like, no, nah. no but like I just feel like but no for all this aside though, I feel like this type of stuff, mm-hmm. I think this type of stuff will be good for like, you know, if they if they went and got like a college student to do this for them or like an intern sure. or like had an intern program through a university and had them pick a student and, you know, them had, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. because like I said, no adult with a car note and rent and bills could do this. Like you would have to like 550 a week. First of all, you have to travel with this, with this artist you know what I'm saying? So it's like you have to you have to give up your car and your house to be their assistant, and that's who wants to who wants to risk that. Oh, like I said, I think this is a good thing for the like college students, mm. students, interns, things like that. I feel like that's the thing. Like that's something that you know, definitely college students. Yeah, someone that doesn't have their own house or some shit, or their own apartment or whatever. You know. Hey. That's my opinion. <laughs> Anywho, um, all right. <laughs> stupid list. <laughs> stupid. List. Uh, okay. So, um, okay, 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 okay. I got one. I got one. I got one. Um, I don't even. I just is just uh, like. Okay. Um. Oof. So y'all just been. Sh- I just feel like everyone has been showing their ass this week. These last couple of weeks, it's just been a lot of dumb shit going on. Been a lot of um, crazy. Okay. So, <laughs> did you hear about um? Lizzo, she was on like the Howard Stern show or some shit like that, and um, so Howard Stern was asking her about how, like, you know, how do you feel when people say that you make white people music or some shit like that? And um, she, you know, she responded gracefully or whatever, and you know, she, you know, gave, you know, she responded, you know, she, you know, whatever. It was a dumbass, like stupid, right? So, you know. Why do you think people would say something like that to Lizzo? Well, like, well, white people Lizzo music? makes Lizzo makes white people <laughs> music. Like Lizzo makes <laughs> pop music. She makes popular music. She makes she makes feel good music mm. um, that white people just happen to really gravitate towards. I'll say that. Yeah. Um, when it comes to like Lizzo, Lizzo, you know, she makes pop music, but her in her music, you know, within her music is a lot of jazz infusions, a lot of funk infusions, there's a lot of pop infusions, there's a lot of rap infusions, there's a lot of singing and soul. It's a lot of things combined, right. like a Doja Cat, but right. you know, we call that pop because it's popular music and she's popularizing it. But why do you feel like people? Or black people, because I feel like this is something a black person would say. I hate to say it. it like, why would you think that 
us as you know why do you, why do you think that people would say something like that about her music like white people music like why would you why do you think that that would be a thing probably her level of stardom i guess but like why is that something that has to be negative like it's like a negative like you're saying that someone a, a black artist makes white music is such a negative undertone to it it's such a it's like a it's like one of those like it's like a, a sneak diss it's like it's like a backhanded compliment or some shit like that it's been around for a long long time i don't know like it's like i hate how we we can be so Mm close-minded and i feel like when a black person you know shows any sort of like versatility or any sort of like you know elevation when it comes to their taste or their ability or whatever 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 Mm -hmm. that's some white shit oh that's some that's that's some this like it's just like yeah i don't know why it's just weird she makes pop. She makes pop music, but I do. I don't like though. I will say this: I don't just like how they do Doja Cat. I don't like when they put her in like the R and B categories and shit. And though, because I think it was one year when Ari Lennox was kind of she didn't blatantly say it, Lizzo's name, but Lizzo like won a Soul Train award over Ari Lennox. Mm-hmm. And you know, we all were like, "This is good. This should have been to like a Ari or a Summer Walker or like a somebody." Um. And it went to Lizzo and you know that things like that. That's not cool because Lizzo makes, you see how I didn't say white music. Lizzo makes pop music. You know what I'm saying? Right. It's just that that doesn't really work out. You know what I mean? You know, at, at least if you go put it in a category, at least still give it to Ari or a summer or a Janae or whatever, give it to the rightful person, but that's here nor there. I'm not going to get into that. Um, so that tickled me a bit. I'm just like, that's fucked up. That's fucked up. And I feel like, you know, I, um, you know, people have, you know, say their things about Lizzo and stuff and, you know, how she can be, you know, a little bit over the top and things like that. But I, I feel like, you know, someone like Lizzo, like, I think that she's a, fr- a breath of fresh air, like a brown skinned woman, a, a bigger girl. Like, she's definitely a breath of fresh air. I love seeing someone of my skin tone of my size like really thrive on a mainstream huge level like she does um the same way i feel about like i said doja cat i love how doja cat is a black girl um and she's very versatile she's very successful um she's multifaceted i even loved it when you know rihanna was in her pro- well you know i'm not saying she wasn't like you know rihanna's a, a big deal but i loved when you know rihanna you know like how she she was she's a genre bender she can do anything okay. and she's a this huge star and she's caribbean and she you know she but she conquered like the the u.s there's like beyonce i love when black women are deaf like conquer the mainstream right. so like i'm deaf i'm always team lizzo but um i just feel like that was such an ignorant thing to that's that that's an ignorant uh you know narrative to give lizzo like white people music trying to say that she's corny because she doesn't make like the traditional hip-hop or traditional soul or r&b music is just like i don't fuck with that yeah I definitely lump Lizzo with like a Bruno. Like when it comes to music, I lump mm-hmm. her with like a Bruno. Like you know how Bruno does like different fusions of different genres right, and stuff. It but it's right. like you know, like but he he um he commercializes like the jazz and the funk and things like that. Right. I definitely put that on Lizzo as well. Like you know, she she definitely you know gives me Bruno Bruno Mars vibes when it comes to her her music and her um artistry and stuff. So all facts. Yeah, all facts. that was cool, right? That, that was wasn't good. that bad. That, that was, was like that, that was, was a good breakdown. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah um okay here you go um so i haven't seen aubrey o'day in a minute and oh, okay. usually you know it'd be some fuck shit here and there like aubrey girl what are you doing what's going on um but she was on someone's radio show someone's podcast or something oh, yeah, so. and um let me see. And what she said, first of all, I will always respect the Aubrey O'Days, the Don Richards, like all the, because they really did, you know, I, I grew up on making the band three and four and all that stuff. They really went through it. Like, did he really whoop they ass? Like they, he, they really went through it. They went through the singing, like, like those shows, like entertaining to watch, mm-hmm. but they really went through the mud. They really went through it. Yep. And for them to be successful, they had to they had to be able to sing and dance exceptionally. Yep, I was there. 
<laughs> that was the yeah, and they and they went through all those boot camps and challenges and all that shit, the breaking down, the this and that. Like, you know, we saw how the Danny Kane stuff played out, but still, like, you know, we saw their blood, sweat, and tears, and we saw, you know, I I will always have respect for Aubrey and Don and all of them mm-hmm. because of their raw talent. Because they we saw their raw talent yeah, they for years. I can sing for sure. And they went through all of these obstacles and still conquered. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I will always respect them for that. Like I'll always do that. But anyway, um, so Aubrey O'Day, she was recently on um a podcast, and I'm so sorry. Um, I don't know what podcast she was on. So I can't um cite you. I'm so sorry. Sorry, mate. But sorry, mate. Um, but I'm going to play the clip because I love that she was dragging these two <laughs> mediocre white gals. So I will do this now. Here we go. Beyonce can release a genius album, and the two biggest artists that have huge record deals are Addison Rae and Bad ba- 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 Bad ba- Baby. Yeah, Bad Baby. Yeah. yeah. The outside girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's stop pretending they have talent, please. I, I don't know if what they did. I don't know the dances that she did on TikTok. I'm sure they were very impressive. <laughs> um, maybe she should go with Gil and learn Janet Jackson's choreography Sheesh. like we had to. Mm-hmm. Or stand in front of Diddy, Jay-Z, or L.A. Reid and sing mm-hmm. and prove yourself They sure did day. do that. Like I had to. Boom, boom, cat. Nowadays, the gatekeepers are gone. Everybody thinks they're a star. Everybody can be a star. You can fart the national anthem on TikTok. And you're more famous than me. You're more relevant than me. You have bigger numbers than me. Congratulations. But... The old school people that really had to fight through through the gatekeepers every step of the way. There's a good group of oh, us that have a little chip on our shoulder about how things have transitioned. Yeah. So she was coming. She, she ate. She, she was coming. For, she ate. She coming and you know, and, and and I will say this though, like I um. It does, it does kind of like, I'm like, when I see like a random TikToker have like a music career, I'm like, whoa, what's going on here? Like, I be seeing, like, I saw Addison Rae, like, she's like this, like, pop star now or some shit, or she's like this, like, I'm like, whoa, what's going on here? Like, what the, the numbers. Hell? Yes, the numbers, girl. Yeah. The numbers, they gonna flip you. They gonna change you somewhere. Bad Baby, she's a rapper and stuff now, you know? But I always, like, even like, you know, I always, like, I don't, I don't really, really get too consumed in like, you know, like, mediocre people becoming like you know getting into music you know waking up and getting into music or whatever because like at the end of the day whether you're a real artist or not the audience will decide it's all subjective it's subjective but then also but like like i said like the audience will decide facts yeah so it's like you know so that's why that's why even when i get that's why i'll be like when like the rap girls or like when all the rappers and stuff they when they talk about how like oh so and so don't write this and so and so they can't really rap da, 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 da. i'm like well I wouldn't if I was them. I wouldn't get too consumed because, like I said, like the the audience will decide. They decide. And everything. you know what? This is a, I didn't write this on my list as I didn't didn't plan on talking about this for real. But I'm gonna just bring it up. You saw the whole the whole sweetie thing about how she only sold two k that first week. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. Um, and you know, uh, I don't know, man. I mean, were you surprised? Two k, yeah, but. I mean, half the followers ain't checking for music, mm-hmm. bro. Like, you gotta think about that. Like, mm-hmm. not checking for the music. Do you think it's like a talent issue or music issue? Th- this is the thing, right? When it comes to because I, I've, like I said, I've been I haven't been recording the last few weeks, so I haven't had a chance to talk about this. Mm-hmm. Let's just let's just let's just brush up with this real quick. Like, I've I've seen a lot of reaction videos regarding Sweetie selling 2K the first week and stuff, mm-hmm. and you know a lot of like a lot of the videos I watch, a lot of the YouTubes I watch, they give like honest, constructive, respectful criticism. Right. But they all say the same thing. It's like it's it, it's all like the basically they're saying like. You know, you need better. You need a better team, but you need you need an A and R, a better A and R. You need you need better writers. You need you know. And one person said, you know, one blogger said that they just feel like Sweetie doesn't have a good ear for music. That ear is she doesn't know. She doesn't know what sounds good. Like what she thinks sounds good does not sound good. That's a fact. 
So I don't know if it's just like, I'm like, is she really, th- does she have an A&R or is, is it her, fr- is it her friends and her family that are listening to it? Like, w- why is no one saying like maybe her, her friends like this? No, she does. She probably got an A&R. That's, but I don't know. <laughs> I think she writes a lot of her stuff now. It seems like it. I don't know, and I, it's, I, don't know. I think she gets help here and there. Like I feel like the commercial stuff that she has mm-hmm. out, like the like the um, that's my best friend. She no, 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 no. I think she, I think she helped get get writers with that. Yeah. Like her, like I said, her commercial stuff, like the best friend, the back to the streets, because that was Back to the Street was was produced by Timberland, I believe, mm-hmm. and um, like her commercial stuff, I can tell she gets help. Right, mm-hmm. and those aren't that bad. Those aren't that bad. But it, when it comes to like this, this the the body of bodies of work, like mm-hmm. like the like the short EPs and things like that, I can tell when it's mainly her. But it's like it's just it's just I don't know. Like did I said, you, but like I said, what did you listen to it? I did. Did you like it? It was okay. I it was some moments when I was just like, oh, this is cringy. Yeah. Hey, you yeah. know your shit. You know your shit. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> But like I said, the audience will decide. All the time. So, and the audience decided. And the numbers, you know what I'm saying? The numbers didn't number the way that, they, you know what I'm saying? But then again, like, you know, but of course she went on Instagram Live and said, um, you know, she didn't care about the numbers. She didn't do it for the numbers, you know. All right, all right. <laughs> all right, man. Hey. Listen. Hey. <laughs> Listen. I don't ever believe anyone. Any artist, any rapper, any singer. I don't believe you if you say you don't care about the numbers, you don't care about selling, you don't care about... I don't believe you. You are lying. I don't believe you. I don't believe you. I don't believe you. Don't ever... Like, you're saying, like, you don't care about getting a Grammy, but you show up to the Grammys red carpet every year, but you don't care about the Grammys. I don't believe you. I don't believe you. I don't believe you. I don't believe you when you when, if you don't sell if you don't sell records, and you say that you don't care about you don't care about the numbers. I don't believe you. That I is a lie. You. you cannot you cannot be a musician, an artist, as a living, and and not care about the numbers because you being an artist and you wanting to be an artist as for a living, that's your bread and butter. To my understanding, why would you not care about the numbers? I don't believe you. You don't believe you. you I don't believe people. you. Shout um, to shout to Jay Z, huh? We don't believe you. You need more people. <laughs> That's Walk a Jay Z impression. Students of the game, <laughs> past the class. Nobody can read you dudes like we do. I gave J Rob a mic. He just rapping Jay Z lyrics. Oh shit! It's easy, too easy. Talk your shit. <laughs> um. Okay. Here we go. So there was this weird random debate on Twitter the, the other day, actually, about how. Ooh. <laughs> there was this <laughs> hey, yeah, I did there, not know that I was going to do that There was this weird <laughs> There was this weird um, Debate the other day On Twitter And They were saying some shit like It was some wild shit So they said That Soldier Boy is more of a rap legend than Nipsey Hussle. So there was a debate going on Twitter. And then someone said, well, he is. A teenager produced a, produced and recorded his own music at home and became an online sensation when folks simply were not doing that. Nigga paved the way for the digital music era and bedroom producer. Outside of Crime Mob, he put Florida, he put Florida Studio on the map as well. That's what one user said. Mm-hmm. And so this is the thing, right? Mm-hmm. When it comes to Soulja Boy, I will always give Soulja Boy his flowers. Always. Like he definitely paved the way for a certain era, a certain, you know, you know what I'm saying? He definitely paved the way for the digital era, the YouTube, the viral moments, the, right. the, 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 you know what I'm saying? Like he definitely, you know, paved the way for, for, you know, certain things. I think, and you know, and the thing is, like, I'm not like, I'm not like a, um, like, I'm a Nipsey fan. Like, I recognize Nipsey's talent for sure. I was never, I'm not gonna lie, I was never like an in. I don't know, like, 
bar for bar. I can't go bar for bar for you on a Nipsey song. I can't. But I appreciate his like I know, I know his music. I like his music. It's cool. Like you know what I'm saying. Whatever. But um, I'm not like a diehard Nipsey fan. I I was I was never like into his music. Super into his music. Mm-hmm. I like this. I like his music. But like I'm not like a super fan, right? But I do recognize his talent, and I think that I don't know if rap legend is the right word is may I, I don't know if i just for me i think i would call soja boy an icon i would call him an icon like when people say rap legend i'm thinking like jay-z or like nas or right, like bars. biggie two bar, bars mm-hmm. tupac mm-hmm. kendrick impactful and like bars mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying i will call soja boy an icon what do you think Soldier's definitely like because you like was rap legend would be bars 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 right? Nah. What you what you think rap it's more, like, hmm. more like more like being a staple being a, a staple icon. In the game. That's icon. Though. Okay. I guess you could say that too, icon. But he's definitely an icon though. Yeah, I think he's no Soldier Boy is definitely an icon, an icon. <laughs> for sure. Like he opened a, a way yeah for all of this shit yeah right the, now. the digital stuff yeah the yeah mm-hmm. yeah like, YouTube all that shit all of that. All of that, but would you call it Soulja Boy a rap legend? I mean, he been around for a while. So, hey, you call it, a lot of people don't. A lot of people don't stay would around. Would you call Soulja Boy a rap yeah. legend? Yeah, hey, legend. Yeah, I, I would say so. So you think that he's an icon and rap legend? So would so they you think the rap let they do? Yeah, they both mean the same to me. Hmm. I don't know why I, I, I but I see what you're saying though. I think he's no Soldier Boy is important. He's very important to the culture. Nah, sure. He is, period. That's his period. Sure. I just when people I just I, I departmentalize this, it's like, okay, icon is like staple. Icon is like this is the poster child for this. Like mm-hmm. this, you know what I'm saying? Icon, right? But rap legend, I'm thinking like lyrics. Lyrics or like or, or like um or like um I don't know how to describe it. Like or a impactful song. Oh, uh, um, cultural, like bars. cultural, like a cultural, like a like one of those. Let's, let's know how like your, like your your old aunties and uncles. They you don't know you know about this about this Lou Rawls. You don't know about this like right, you know right, right, like right, knock right. the dust off some shit. Like you know this is y'all know y'all kids don't know about this shit. This is some real shit, right? This okay. is a le- things like like a, like one of those, like a um like a uh, fuck like a classic, one of those like, like a like a I don't know has, like one of those <laughs> like a like a goodie like a like a goodie like right, a, right, not, right. not an oldie but a goodie like you know it's like an oldie. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know how to explain it. Do you classic, know what I mean? A classic, like a like a like a like a, like time, a treasure, like, like a, a time, like, like a, a like a treasure, like a, a snap in time. I'm say that. <laughs> snap in time. I don't know. A snap in time. No, like it's, pro- it's projects that will like you remember the time you was in, like what was going on. That's a classic. Like, uh-huh. It's the same thing. Okay. Like you don't know a classic. Yeah, you don't know. All right. Okay. All right. Yeah. Snap in time. Okay. Changing the game. Yeah. Projects that change. Like, like I said, like I said when, I, when I think of like legend, we would say legend, like a musical legend. Mm-hmm. I'm thinking like grandma, grandpa, un- uncle, auntie knocking the dust off of a Lou Rawls, a Lou Rawls record, right? Or of like a like a du- knocking the dust off of um Marvin Gaye, like right a here. Marvin Gaye or some right. shit like that, or like a um who did the who did the um dun, 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 dun. like I think of that shit. My life, my life, like knocking oh, off the, you know okay, what I'm saying? Not okay. like that's what I think about when people say legend or like, you know what I'm saying? Right, like right, a right. Diana Ross and, right. and fucking, you know, like I'm thinking like that. Okay, if we talking that, then yes, that's you know what I mean. Then he's an icon for sure, icon. I hope I'm making sense. I you, I'm oh, making you, sense. You making sense? I get you. I get you. I get you. Well, the audience gets you, but I get you though. <laughs> I might get some comments. I don't know. Oh, you definitely gonna get some comments. <laughs> they be like, "This is the same thing. Classic and the rap and shit is the same fucking shit." <laughs> so, did I change your answer, or are you still calling him a rap legend? It's an icon. Okay, would you call Nipsey an icon or a rap legend? Both. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Both. Okay. But. Cause would you it's call different. would you call Jadakiss an icon or a rap legend? Both. Both. Okay. Yeah. yeah he is icon. Yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah. <laughs> let me think of somebody that's under. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So you're you're aiming for bars and cultural impact. 
Cultural impact like, and bars. Like like a taste. Like a like a taste or something. <laughs> Like I don't know how to say it. Like I said, like I said, knock the take the take the out, take the record out, knock the dust off the vinyl. Uh Legend. I'm talking about that. Okay. Okay. Like I knocked the knocked the dust off the Aretha Franklin. Yeah, but she's Aretha's an icon as well, though. See what I'm saying? So that you know. Right. Would you consider her R and B legend? Yeah. Okay. 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 Respect. R E S P U C T. So is Soulja Boy a rap legend? I don't know now. Now I'm confused. He's a legend. He he has to be a le- like okay. to be a legend. You gotta change. You gotta change okay. the game in some way. Okay. It's not really about bar. It's just changing the game. Okay. He definitely changed the game. Anyway. He's a rap legend. Okay. Okay. And an icon too. Okay. Hopped up out the bed. Turn my slang. <laughs> um, <laughs> People take still a say that too. A, like that MySpace era. Still say that to this day. Hop about the bed to my swag on. You say that. <laughs> That's a legend, bro. See? Legend. Legendary. Timestamp. Yeah, he did pave the way for the let me whip, let me, and then the other, other stuff too. Ringtones. All of that. I think about all that. <laughs> Would you call Bow Wow a rap legend or an icon? I I don't know, like, but he changed the you, game. What? Too. What? Wait, 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 whoa, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait, wait, wait. You said that Bow Wow changed the game and he sure did, but you said Soldier Boy changed the game and he did. So why does why is Bow Wow not a rap, a rap legend? Is he is he an icon to you? He is an icon. Okay, but you wouldn't call Bow Wow a rap legend. You call Bow Wow an icon, but not a rap legend. Why? Cause now you've been a hypocrite because you call Soldier Boy an icon and rap legend. So not why not Bow Wow? Soldier Boy is Bow Wow is. Nah, Bow Wow's a rap legend too. He changed. You, the game. It took you way too long to say that. Nah, cause you was talking. Cause I had to wait for you to talk. But now nah, he's a rap legend. Bow Wow's a legend and an icon at the same time. He definitely changed the game. Yeah, he did. He did. He definitely an icon. Like I'm sure you was one of them women who back in the day. Who Bow Wow was my first concert. Scream Tour was my first concert. For real? Yeah. See. And you went because of who? Bow Wow? Chris Brown, Mario. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> hey. But he's a legend, though. He's a legend. He changed the game. The rap legend is changing the game. Changing the game somewhere. See, be. now now it's like, Dan, now you, now, because <laughs> Bow Wow and Soulja Boy rap legends. <laughs> now it's like, I don't know. They changed the game. They They're changed. icons. I don't know. I don't I, know. I don't icons. know what to call them now. I don't know. I, icons right now. Icon. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Cause they, rap legend is Jay Z, Nas, Kendrick, Cole. Like, well, well, yeah. Like, are right, you talking lyrical content? You talking lyrical? Bars, no, Jay Z is lyrical. He's a, he's a mogul. Of course, he's a billionaire. Right. He's married to Beyonce. Right. He changed the game. He changed. He's a rap legend icon. Yes, for sure. All of them. They changed the game. Got to change the game some way. To be an icon and a rap legend. Gotta change the game. Gotta change the game. So is it the same thing? A rap legend and icon is the same thing? or It's like the same shit, yeah. yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, well, I don't know what made them compare Nipsey and Soulja Boy. That was kind of, that was a bit off-putting to me. I don't know but, why. But I don't, I don't know, know why that was a thing, but whatever. Um, but I'm glad that that person, they, you know, they responded with some valid, some valid shit. Um... Yes. Anywho. Anywho. Okay. <laughs> <sighs> well. What's on the list now? What's your stupid list? Ten to what? Ten to one or one to ten? So this is the thing, right? <laughs> I don't even know where I should go with them. Cause I know what you're going to bring up. You're going to bring up one of them. I know what you're going to bring up. One of them topics is going to be about. I know what you're I'm not getting. I'm not diving into so, such and such. I'm not going to dive. I'm not doing a deep dive into that. Not that shit. I, I refuse. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. They got to watch the previous episodes. They know how you feel. Wait, what's talking about? Go ahead, Joe. But go ahead, Joe. Am I, I'm, 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 I was planning on, like, briefly, like, saying something, but not, like, doing a deep dive. Oh, okay. But it's, it's what you, it's, it. go ahead. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. It's just going to pop up and be like, oh, there we go. That's the one. That's the one I was thinking about. Okay, uh, you might be wrong. <laughs> okay, so 
let's talk about this Diddy in Young Miami situation, right? Real quick. Okay. So, this is the thing, right? So, uh, you know, Young Miami and Diddy, they fool around. They mess around. They date, whatever, whatever. Cool, right? Mm -hmm. And, you know, um, Diddy actually just had a baby with some random girl. Some, I don't know, some 28-year-old massage therapist. I don't don't know. Something like that. Whatever. Um, You know, people were clowning Carisha. They're like, girl, you're a sad chick and blah, 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 blah. Whatever, whatever, whatever. Because, you know, Diddy is messing with Young Miami, but he's also messing around with other girls publicly. Right. And, you know, Young Miami, you know, she... She makes it clear that they're both single. She don't care, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, part of me f- believes her because, you know, Diddy is uh is rich. Diddy has a lot of fucking money. So, and, you know, a lot of these bitches, including me, y'all let these broke niggas do you dirty. You know what I'm saying? Like, why not let a rich nigga do you dirty? Fuck it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I get the logic. I understand the logic. I understand it. Why not let this this billionaire nigga do you dirty? Whatever. At least he giving you deals and shit. And, um, De Leon deals and, and, and giving you a whole podcast and revolt. Mm-hmm. At least he doing that. What's your broke nigga doing for you? Nothing. You know? I understand. I get it. Right? <laughs> J-Rob is cracking up. But oh, my whole thing is, it's just like, you know, she was getting called a side chick. And the thing is, like, that was so mean for y'all to call her a side chick. Like, that was so mean. Knowing that she she said that she's single. They're all they're both single. But this is my this is what how I feel, right? I think that, you know, I think that young Miami and Diddy know that they both benefit from each other. They both benefit from them being public with their relations. I said relations, not relationship. Relations. Not have relations. relations. Young Miami got a rich sugar daddy. You know, she got a she got a, a whole revolt podcast now. She has the the drink, the Deleon deals, you know, because she, you know, Young Miami, she has launched her, you know, her Carisha Please brand uh, separately from the City Girls. So, you know, City Girls, they haven't really been putting out bops like that for real. They've been kind of cold lately in the music in the music field. Like, you know, they, they, they haven't really been hot musically in a long time. They dropped one song with Usher on it, but that really didn't do nothing for real. They didn't really, you know, they really didn't do shit. So, you know, Young Miami, you know, I feel like Young Miami is definitely stepping into her socialite brand, her, you know, influencer yeah. brand. And I definitely, I, 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 I love seeing what she's doing with her brand. I love how she's building her own empire separate from the City Girls because, you know, she was never, she was never the rapper of the group. And so she found her strength and she's capitalizing off of it. And I admire her for that. Fact. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, like I, I think that young Miami and Diddy, Carisha, they both benefit from each other. And they both know, like I said, young Miami, a rich nigga, you know, got her, her deals and her money, her got, she got her platform and stuff, whatever. Cool. And I think Diddy knows that Carisha, she's, she's hot. She's hot. And I feel like, I honestly feel like Carisha is keeping Diddy up. You know, Diddy, he's trying to release music again and shit. I ain't gonna hate on you. Whatever. Like he's trying to release music again or whatever. And, you know, I feel like I, feel, I mean, he is Diddy. He's Diddy. But like, you know, Carisha is definitely, you know, keeping him hot, keeping him, keeping him on the blogs, keeping him a hot topic. Keeping him, re- keeping him relevant, you know, sh- social wise or like not social wise, but you know, keeping his, you know, he, she, she's helping him. He's, she's helping his brand as well. She's helping him, you know, she's helping him stay hot, I guess, whatever. Because, you know, if she if he wasn't dating Carisha, we just wouldn't care that much. You know, you just, you know, he's, yeah, he's Diddy, but you know, so they both benefit from each other and they, and I feel like they both know it. Um, and uh, I don't know, I don't know, man. Um, like I said before, you bitches, including me, y'all let these bum ass dirty niggas do y'all dirty for free. And um, at least she getting deals and sponsorships and shit from it, you know. Um, I think it's mean that you guys are calling her a side chick because first of all, he didn't even claim he doesn't even claim her as a girl. First of all, let me see something. Hold on, because um, DJ Academics and Carisha they were going back and forth on Twitter. They were going at it. And um, to the point where Diddy, to the point where Diddy had to step in, and so Diddy said this on Twitter. He said, "Young Miami is not my side chick. Never has been. Never will be. She's very important and special to me. And I don't play about my shot, my shorty wop. I don't discuss things on the internet. And I will not start today. First of all, you're starting today. Like you just you do you're doing it, and you can't even call her. You can't even call this girl your girlfriend. My shoddy wop. 
My shorty, what? You can't even call. First of all, she's not a side chick. She's definitely the main, the main favorite. She's definitely the favorite of the of the of the of the batch. True. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if it's a thing where like I. This is why. This is why I, I. This is this is the thing is I don't know. I don't know because when people are when people are public with their shit mm-hmm. and people are private with their shit and people people still may know like like with Lotto and Twenty One Savage we know that Lotto and Twenty One Savage they broke up but Lotto and Twenty One Savage they were a couple right and we all knew this oh you didn't know that we all knew this know. well you didn't know because you don't mean it <laughs> but we all we all knew this but they weren't public with it mm-hmm. but you know she would be at all his his parties and all his out you know they would be on vacation together but she never blatantly said his name they were never public with their situation but we all just knew right. and so they broke up and it's not really as embarrassing so in my opinion, it's not really as embarrassing because they weren't really public with it. It could just be a thing where like, oh shit, we knew the tea, they broke up. That's oh wow, that's some tea right here, and then we just forget about it because they were never really public. And then she can just pretend that it never happened. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But for here, you know, Miami, she brags and like tweets about Diddy all the time, and she posts pictures with Diddy all the time. Well, you know what I'm saying? Like she posts pictures and and you know, and then on top of that, she posts pictures of him making it known that they fucking. And then he t- turn around. He on chat room with some other bitch, some Asian bitch around the corner. Got a baby with that one. A random, a ran- another, another, another black baddie over here. He kissing on her. Another girl. Like you know what I'm saying? Like he's publicly kissing on other girls. He's kissing you. Going. To the- it's like it's like okay, okay. Italy with Carisha. Uh, Spain with so and so. This with that. Getting other getting other girls pregnant too. On top of that, like damn, like damn. Did Diddy is fifty three years old? Whoa. <laughs> My nigga, living, living life. You got a lot of money, but come living on now, life. bro. Come on now, did he? Shout out to the sugars, the sugar life. And I want to be, I want to be a weirdo and be like, what example are you teaching your sons, Diddy? But then again, like they, they like my daddy the man. Look at that, he got these, but he, he fucking bitches my age. Like you know what I'm saying? Yo, Miami's the same age <laughs> as, her, as his son. Yo, Miami, my age. Oh dang. I mean, look, <laughs> child. So I mean I don't in. know, man. You said what? Pops getting it in. <laughs> Pops. <laughs> Pops getting it in, man. Did he? I mean, at least he's honest about not because he didn't even he was with Cassie for like ten years and he never married her. At least he's honest about not wanting to settle down or not wanting to be with one All person. Right. At least he knows that he's honest and he's rich enough to live his true life. Honestly, a lot of these niggas, y'all too broke to be honest with y'all selves. Y'all gotta marry the bitch to have a life. Y'all gotta marry the bitch to to to, to have a uh, you know to for, to survive or whatever. Diddy is rich enough to t- is is rich enough to live in his truth. But I think it's a little bit nasty though. I do you think it's a little bit nasty that he's he's fucking around get get one bitch pregnant, kissing on that bitch, kissing on that bitch, kissing on that bitch, fucking that bitch. That's a little nasty. I feel like especially at his age, is you know you know what I'm saying like. It's a little risky, you know what I'm saying? He's, you know what I'm saying? I don't like that, There's, you know. But that's not my business. It ain't, ain't my tax bracket, you know what I'm saying? I'm just saying, you know what I mean? Um, I don't know. In my, I, I just feel like when men, I, I, I think, I think that, um, you know, it's it's more believable, or it's more, it's easier to trust a man that has everything at his disposal, but still wants to commit to you. Like it's like he don't need you for something, but he wants to be with you. I feel like that's the best kind of person to be in a relationship with. He don't need you for nothing, but he still wants to do the work to be with you. Like he's genuinely into you. Mm-hmm. I think that's the best kind of guy or the best kind of person that you can be in a partnership with, a relationship with. Someone that doesn't need you. They have it all on their own. They don't need you, but they still are interested in you they still want to be with you they still want to build something with you for sure yeah and i still like i said i still also do respect the people that have a lot um and that are honest with you you know what i'm saying so yeah yeah honesty is the key yeah yeah but that's still kind of nasty though did you too old for that shit i mean it is what it is like i said it ain't my tax bracket hopefully i become a billionaire like you one day um 
billionaire status. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. All right. Danny the billionaire. So This whole like damn and Idris Lori Harvey thing definitely caught me off guard. Um, I mean, it caught me off. I wasn't surprised, you know, at the selection, Lori, because that's my, you know, I love you some damn But it caught me off guard because I'm like, damn, damn, I'm like, Lori Harvey is the, like I said, like I don't know what what. The, listen, Lori Harvey's a bad bitch. Like she yes. is a bad bitch. Like she like from Michael B. Jordan to to Damson to this nigga to that nigga. Like it's just like it's these. It's like it gets it gets better and better and better and better. But no, um. <laughs> Yeah. But I thought that was kind of like, but I, I don't know if it's some tea because wasn't I swear. First of all, Damson is a little mixy one. He's a little mixy, and I feel like I've seen Damson in pictures with Michael B. Jordan. I'm not sure. Let me look at that. Hold on. I'm sure they were at some type of like, you know. Let me just hold on, hold on before I get into my little thing. Hold on, let me see. I, I could have swore I saw Damson Idris in a um. In a oh yep, show they dapping up right here. Oh, they da oh my god, look they dapping up right here. Oh, they at the they at the Drake dinner. Hold on, they at the Drake dinner, cackling Kiki and a cack teeth smiling, teeth showing. Small Kiki world, and small world. child, small world out here. man, <laughs> look at this nigga in the same put. Look, pose up with Michael B. <laughs> so let me so <laughs> so you telling me. That you bumped into Michael and Lori on the red carpet. It was like, oh, I can't wait, wait till she, till she free. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna get at that next, <laughs> for real. That he keep keying with Michael B. Jordan. I mean, I'm, I'm sure, I'm sure he had them thoughts. I'm sure. Listen, that's a bad bitch. But girl, Lori Harvey, listen, girl, do your thing, girl, do your thing. And you know what? She don't listen. She got options, and she going through her options until she ready to settle down. Period. Period. Hey. Now, I think it was really funny though. Um, they went to some restaurant in LA somewhere. I don't know where it was. It was it was so funny because they tried to leave the restaurant separately, but it was dumb because the the um sprinter the sprinter um car was was up front, you uh -huh. know, waiting for them. Right? right. So they tried to leave. They tried to leave the restaurant separately. But it was dumb because the car was right there. They left separately, but they the car didn't move. The car was still there. Like so, they both got into the same car. I <laughs> like what, just walk out together. Fuck it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but no, um. So let me just give my thoughts. First of all, I have the hugest crush on Damson Idris. I love him. Um, I do think he's mixy because this is a little shady. You can't keep can cackling with Michael Jordan in multiple pictures, and you got his ass because they just broke up this year. Yeah, child. Oh, these niggas ain't shit. But no, um, I think that Damson is a wonderful man. Um, I give this Damson Lori situation a like a. I feel like I would give this like a good six months, like a good six to a good six months, a good. I give it like an eight monther. I give it like a good like a, at the at the most like an eight month. Cause like Lori Harvey, she 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 um you know when it comes to these niggas, she puts them on like like like, like a twelve month lease, fifteen month lease. I heard about that. I heard about that. You know that. what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. the you know what I'm saying? Like you know, um, the future. I don't know if she. Was, I don't know how long she was with Future, but Michael B. Jordan. She, she was with Michael B. Jordan for like a good like maybe like a year and some change. Like, you know, I don't know. Whatever. It was a Something a like that. Nice minute. Um, you know, they take her on this huge vacation. Um, you know, the, the red carpet debuts, the, the lunch, the lunch pap shots and things like that. Um, then the separation. so this is the thing, right? They haven't been photographed. They, not, they haven't, they haven't made it like, um, inst they just been seen together. Right. This is, this is the thing, right? So it's, this is December right now. Right. Mm -hmm. So this is the thing, right? I think that they're going to make it Insta official. Or like post like a you know like a like a cryptic like video or like a clip or something. Some on, maybe like I don't think they will give like an Instagram post per se. Maybe they will, but at the very least, like a like a IG story post around Valentine's Day. They may give like a cryptic like oh like she may um pick uh, you know she may like show like the roses that he got her right. 
And then like he posted the roses that he got her, but it's at a different angle. But like the shade room is gonna match up, match up the, the match up the walls and the chairs and like the the atmosphere. Like the and they're gonna be like, oh, they, oh wow, seemingly Lori Harvey seemingly um spends Valentine's Day with Damson Idris. So it's gonna it's gonna give Instagram is going it's gonna give like you know they're gonna like you know give us a soft launch on February you know like Valentine's Day. That'd be and funny then, if it happened. And then, like, <laughs> and then, like, they're gonna like you know you know roll it out, keep rolling it out, you know, I, you know, like you know something like because you know it's gonna be it's gonna be wait um the Super Bowl is in February, right? When? Yeah, yeah. When? So, um, February. When? I think it's like the twenty. Okay. Something. So Valentine's Day fourteenth, right? Boom, soft launch. Then like the Super Bowl, we'll see them in the in the audience together, like, in the box together, you know, together. You know, it's gonna it's gonna roll. I'm trying to listen, listen, stop. No, you're laughing at me, but it's true. Oh no, nah, look. And they're gonna roll it out, roll just up. keep rolling it out, right? right? Summertime, vacations, this, Jamaica, of uh, the Paris and Fashion Week, the uh, this and that, whatever, whatever. whatever. And it's a new snowfall coming get, up. Yeah. Oh, boom. <laughs> and then, oh, see, look, Dam, look, Damson is right on time because he wrote, he wrote, she, Damson, you ain't slick, you a nigga, because you got the, you got the new season. You ain't slick, nigga. I know what you're trying to do, Damson. You a new, the, the new season snowfall coming out. So it's a whole big thing with that. Like, it's going to be a situation. So, like I said, like the fashion weeks, the summertime, the Super Bowl, all those things are going to be a cute situation, cute IG stories, pictures. I don't know. Whatever, um, dinner dates, pap shots. Oh, I didn't see you there. Oh, whatever, in the corner, whatever, whatever, right? And then it gets cold again. It gets cold again. It gets cold. It gets, it gets cold again. It gets cold again, and the contract ends. <laughs> it's it cold again. The contract ends. And it's like, oh, oh, Lori Harvey seemingly quietly unfollows Damson Idris on social media. Yo, this is funny how you got the storyline played out. And if it, it's funny, <laughs> if it plays out exactly like I'm trying to tell you, I say I'm ca- funny. John, John, J Rock, <laughs> I'm trying to tell you, my nigga, if they post, if they post on Valentine's Day, I swear to God. I'm going to text you. I'm going to text you. I'm, 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 like, like, I'm like, you called it's it. It's starting. It's starting. What's this episode? What? <laughs> What's this? Episode one, two, mm-hmm. what is it? I don't know. Mm-hmm. Whatever you put up. I don't know. But we're gonna revert back to this. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but no, nah, but no, clap it up for Lori Harvey because that's a bad bitch. Listen, she's like 25, 26 or whatever. Sorry, sorry, and she's Lord. doing it right. Okay, girl, weigh your options. Go through those options. Um, um, as gracefully as you can. Sorry. Yeah, I'm, I'm waiting, not sick. I'm waiting in line. Ooh, I know that's right. But listen though, <laughs> listen though, listen to them. So, Lori Harvey, she did. The, so after Damson, right? This is my prediction. I don't know. I don't know. Mm-hmm. This, this is my next prediction, right? So she already did the rappers, the rapper nigga. She did the future because I don't know. When it comes to rappers, I don't even know who else she could date. When it comes to rappers, who could she date? Of like stature, but I don't think honestly, I don't think that she would even mess with another rapper anyway because he she hurt future feelings real bad. And he was talking shit about her in that in that song, so I don't think she's gonna do no more rappers. She don't want no more, she don't want no more diss tracks about her. And I get it. Don't don't do no more rappers. Don't, don't do no more rappers. Um, I think that she was once engaged to like a basketball player. I think maybe I don't know. I don't, I don't know. know. Hold on. I don't know. Uh, let me see. Who was Lori? Harvey engaged to um his name his name um his name is Memphis DePay what the fuck did that nigga do did he play basketball what the fuck that nigga do Memphis DePay what the fuck is that hold on I think no cause you know she don't she don't be fucking on anything ass niggas. Hold on, let me see. Let me, if it's the pay. He's a soccer player. Okay. Soccer player, okay. She was engaged to the soccer player, a Dutch soccer player named Memphis DePay. Okay. So she already, okay. So she didn't do, I don't, I don't remember, I don't remember, my point is this. I don't remember her fucking around with an NBA player yet. Cause you know, she already did the, she already did the rap thing. Right. Cool. That's done. She's doing the young, she's doing the young black the young black male Hollywood thing, Michael B. Jordan, Damson Idris, you know what I'm saying? Like she's doing that. She's in that. She's in the young Hollywood actor nigga phase right now, right? So after this actor nigga phase, it's giving athlete. Listen, 
It's uh-huh. giving athlete, it's giving NBA, it's giving NFL. But I think that I, I'm not sure if Lori, girl, I don't know if I want you to do a basketball player or a football player. I mean, the soccer doesn't count, whatever. That's your, that's your, you're engaged, but you're whatever, whatever. And Jeff Bezos. <laughs> But listen, I'm not sure if I want her to do a basketball player or a football player, but I'll say this. Elon Musk. When it when it comes to if she messed with a football player, I think that they would probably try try to marry her quicker than a basketball player would. What you think? Because probably. basketball players, I don't know. Like I feel like I feel like they will fall for her quicker than a, than an NBA player would because them NBA players, they ain't shit. I ain't gonna hold you because a lot of them niggas, they be having side babies on their wives and shit. They be cheating like shit. Like I, I never heard of like a, a, a football player on some Tristan Thompson shit. So I don't never, you know what I'm saying? I never heard about no football. I mean, they might be out there. I just, that, right now I can't think of anyone that has done no Tristan Thompson bullshit. No, no, uh, Lamar Odom shit. No, you know what I'm saying? Don't advertise that. Not, no, in football, not in the football world like that. What? That type of shit. What shit? Don't advertise the bullshit? Yeah. yeah, like it's a lot of NBA players with side babies and, and cheaters on their wives. And I just, I don't, I don't hear about NFL players doing no shit like that. So maybe if you do, if you do decide to do the NBA or the NFL thing, go with NFL. So I think, okay, so after that young, after the young Hollywood rapper nigga, uh, no, I mean, sorry, after the young actor nigga phase or whatever, I see her with like a football player phase. It's a quick little situation. And then after that, let's say after her like football player phase, I think she would probably be, let me see, how old is Lori Harvey right now? Lori Harvey is 25 years old. So I think by the time, because after Damson, the six, eight, eight, six to eight month contract, right? So after Damson, NFL player, okay, NFL player, um, and then after the NFL player, I'm thinking maybe, so she'll probably be about 28, maybe. Let's say 28, right? At that point, girl, I'm thinking she might fuck around and be like, oh, like, fuck it. I'm going overseas. I'm going overseas. I'm going to um, I'm a pull up a fucking prince. I'm going a, I'm to a pull a fucking, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like some type of, cause you know, like Eve, she went, she, oh, she out in London with a whole white man and the whole fan. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like she, t- she good. She dropped music here and there when she feel like it or whatever. But she, she out overseas. She like, fuck it. Rihanna, Rihanna fucked around and was uh, almost married, uh, some Arabian prince or some shit. Some, some, some nigga that, uh, made Toyota or some shit like that. Like she almost it was engaged to him. So I feel like. Lori Harvey is giving overseas girl after this phase is giving overseas. I don't blame you. It's giving very much like to London. You know, I see London. I see France. Like girl it's giving very much girl. Like <laughs> go over to some kingdom somewhere. It's giving that it's giving that. And she's a bad bitch. And I see it for her. I see it for her. I see it for her. Shout out to, I do. Shout out to Lori. I do, I do. Because I don't really know. So, you know, I love me some dancing. But I, I don't really know. I don't really know his his ways like that. I don't know if, I don't really know if he, he seems like a nice person from what I see. But I don't know if he's like a fuck nigga. Or I don't know if he's like lovey-dovey. Because, you know, after Michael B. Jordan was with Lori Harvey, like we saw that he could be lovey-dovey. I didn't know that he could be lovey You know what I'm saying? So, like. I don't know if Damson is the lovey-dovey type. I don't know if he's like the clingy type. I don't know what it's going to give. I don't know if it's given like he just wants. Like I said, Damson, he be at all the, the all the parties. He's mixy. Mm-hmm. So maybe he's on maybe he's on the same the same type type of time that Lori Harvey's on. I'm here for a good time, not a long time. You know what I'm saying? You'll like see, you'll see in two months, two to eight months. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you, <laughs> listen, Instagram Valentine, Instagram reveal February 14th. How much you want back? Seriously, I'm dead ass. I'm dead ass. We're gonna see. She gonna post some roses on. <laughs> she gonna post some roses on one wall in the chair in the corner. He gonna post. He gonna post the same roses. And you know, they gonna match up the wall art. They gonna, oh wait, hold on. The balcony matches. Oh my god, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah. And Watch. The, and the fox pillow. I'm trying to tell you. Oh, the fox pillow. <laughs> trying to tell you. So girl, yeah, I don't blame you, girl. I don't blame you. Okay. Well. Um. Okay. Uh-oh, what's coming up? So I'm not sure if this is going to be my last topic because I kind of want to be done with this. Um, so 
So here's the thing, right? I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do this. Like I'm not gonna uh, do this. I think, I think I know. I'm not gonna do we'll this. Go ahead, I'm not gonna do it. We'll go ahead, though. But I will say this. I think that it's gross to me when I see men that are clearly jealous of successful women. It's gross to me when I see men who are very hypocritical towards women and they rather tear a woman down than to uplift them. I just feel like, you know, I don't care that Megan Thee Stallion lied about fucking Tory Lanez. I don't care. Like, why would she say that on national TV? Why would she admit that on TV? Like, who cares? I don't care that she lied about that. Doesn't mean that she's lying about everything else. Who cares? I don't, I think that is, I think that is some weird shit that Joe Budden, who was a grown ass man in his 40s, maybe 50s, knocking on 50 or whatever, talking about how he don't like that girl, this 25 year old girl that's, that's half your age, how he don't like that girl. I don't like that girl. I don't like her. I don't like her. Like, what? We all know you fucked till you're live. You lied about fucking Tory. Who, who cares if she lied about fucking Tory Lanez? Who cares? Who would say that on TV? Who cares about, like, who cares? Who cares? I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. And then also, um, she, was this, was this what you talked about? Which is, okay. Yep, yep. Um, so I just, <laughs> you know, um, I just, I, uh, I don't even know what's like I said, I'm not getting into, I'm not doing this. I'm not mm-hmm. doing it. But, you know, I just really hope that she heals from, this is a very embarrassing, unfortunate, un- inconvenient situation for her. Um, you know, on top of the whole lawsuit with her record label and, and all this shit and everyone wanting to smear her name and, you know, just things like that. Um, you know, I hope that she really bounces back from this because she, Megan Thee Stallion is very talented. And, um, I think that I'm not really sure what goes on behind the scenes with her boyfriend, Partisan Fontaine, but she said something like, you know, even her, is that the thing still on? Mm-hmm. She said something like, um, you know, even Partisan gets embarrassed with certain things, you know, cause you know. Tory Lanez with the whole, you know, she had sex with him and then the baby coming out saying, like, right. oh, I fucked, I fucked her too and blah, 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 blah. Right. Um, and, you know, hopefully, I mean, look, he, we've seen Partisan take up for her publicly, you know, here and there. Um, I don't know what made her share that with us. I don't know if I would have, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe she was just being transparent when she said that he gets embarrassed. Um, I just hope that the things that have transpired with Megan Thee Stallion these, these last couple of years, I really hope that she really learned something from this. And I really hope that she, um, you know, is wise about her company and, and what she does in people's company as well. You know, she's like, you know, um, and I just feel like people should just give people more grace. I feel like people just like to take this with anything, People just love to take easy, easy jabs at people's situations. People love to say, oh, she fell out with so-and-so and so-and-so, that she must be the problem, or this and that. Or so, ooh, da, 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 da. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not always the case. Sometimes people are just learning and growing and just, like, it's just life. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So, um, that's what I'm saying on that. I'm not getting into it. I'm just not going to I know, it's a lot. It's a lot yeah, to I'm, get not, into. I'm just not going to get into it. It's a lot Go to get into. In. Listen, I'm not getting, I'm not doing it. it. I'm not doing it. Nope, not doing it. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> it's not doing it. Not today. Not today. Same. And then the, 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 the podcast for that. I talked about <laughs> it enough. These the last couple of years, I'm not doing it no more. All right. We'll see what the verdict says, and and we'll deal with that. All right. <laughs> Previous episode. Not doing it. You can peep it. Can peep go it. back to the go back. <laughs> um, and I think I had two more topics, but eh, I don't care. Um, okay. So, on to Seen and Heard, our segment of uh, TV and music that we're into. 
yeah, yeah. Um, so for the shows and stuff, I've I've actually okay. So guys, I um finally got into All American, the show All American, and I'm obsessed. I love it now. I love I, it now. I heard it was good. Yeah, I love it. It's very dramatic, very dramatic, but I love it. And um, so that's what I'm watching now, and I'm waiting for the I'm waiting for the second half of the fifth season. I heard that that is premiering um, next month, late next month in January. So I'm excited for that. And then I'm just excited for this new this new um, you know the, it's winter time, right? Mm-hmm. So I'm excited for the new winter um, TV premieres. BMF the new season of BMF comes out in January. New All American comes out in January. New Power Book Two comes out in February. Um, new snowfall comes out in February, um, so I'm 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 pretty busy these next couple months watching my little shows. You, lo- you loaded up. I'm loaded up. I'm happy. I'm gonna watch them. I love I love <laughs> um I just love like having like a TV show to watch during the week. I enjoy it. It's fun. I love it. Every day. No, BMF and Power come on Sunday, so I'm gonna have to watch oh, it on yeah, Sunday yeah, yeah. yet. And then um, snowfall probably come on like Wednesday or Thursday, something like that. So yeah. Right. Yeah, all American could probably come out Wednesday, you know, whatever. But yeah, right. Mm. So usually like Wednesday, Thursday, Sunday. Yeah, yeah. Not bad. That's not bad. Not bad. Yeah. That's and a, then, that's um, a good schedule to keep. Any shows for you? Nah. Did you watch Atlanta? <laughs> <laughs> I watched the episode you told me to watch. I saw it. Just think about it. I thought it was funny. <laughs> I was like, dang, this is this is very. It's great, Atlanta. Atlanta's great, but that episode was hilarious. <laughs> That's crazy though. At the end, he was like, <laughs> <laughs> he's talking about, talk about the episode where uh, the, the nigga, racial, the racial uh, episode. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. that shows hilarious. Though. Um, so you haven't watched any more. It went fast though. It went by fast. You haven't watched. You haven't, you haven't watched any more of you. Nah, I try. That's the thing. I try. You try, but what happened? I, I just, I feel like I don't know what it is. Like I sit down. I start watching it, then I get bored, and I'm like, All right, I gotta go do something. Really? Yes. Oh wow. I don't know what the problem is though. Is giving ADH? Probably. I might got ADHD. I don't know. Mm. I might be diagnosed with some shit. Mm. ADHD might be it. Mm. Cause I can't sit down and watch watch movies like that. I can mm. watch a movie. Like I can go to the theater and shit, but watch a TV show. Mm. I really can't sit down and. Hmm. What is? That? I don't know. What is that? Maybe just it's not for you. <laughs> <laughs> mm. I mean, eventually it has to be. Mm. So I can come on herd and sing. And talk that shit. Oh my god. Anyway. Talk that um, sh- so talk this sh- is the album. <laughs> Loved it. <laughs> Love this is the album. I haven't heard it yet. Oh wow. I what the fuck is like- your part? You're a producer. You're a whole producer. You need to be on top of this music shit. I, I, I know, I know. You need to hear it before me. <laughs> you, need to, you need to hear it before his streaming services. The fuck wrong with you? <laughs> you a oh. whole producer. See, you got all right, bet. I gotta get plugged in again. That's yeah. Love this is the album. Um and them concert tickets though got me fucked up because I tried to get the uh <laughs> I was, yes I um actually missed the the pre sale was at ten a.m. last week and I forgot and I I logged in at twelve p.m. and they even then it. even then I saw them prices Girl, how much was it some wild shit I ain't going it's wild I ain't going to the damn concert it's wild wild as fuck I ain't going it's wild. I usually get the so it was it's, it's at Capital One Arena right. and I usually get at Capital One I usually I usually get the um. I usually get the like section 100 because it's not, you know, it's, it's a good, like, right? Good it's deal. low, but it's yeah, not, it's right? Good, right? Not on the floor. And I listen, I always get pre sale tickets. Mm-hmm. So, like, I always end up paying like maybe $95, $100, you know, whatever. I went five. Yes. Over oh, five fifty five hundred. Oh. Three something. Hey. Whoa. High demand. Whoa. High demand this is the pre sale prices. Whoa. Hell no. Nah. <laughs> Hell no. Nah. I gotta pay for Beyonce later on when she come. Hell no. Nah. That's car insurance. You gotta pay your car insurance. Yes. <laughs> That's one of my car insurance right now. <laughs> Shit. That's why I guess a car note. That's a car note. Can't no. drive to the show without this. Like, oh. Right. Right. Exactly. That's a car note. Fuck that. Uh. Uh-uh. Hey. Uh, so if I'm meant to see this, I see her, but I'm not paying for that shit. Hey, maybe they go. Maybe they gonna I, I, But there, I feel like there'll be another opportunity for me to see this, and I'll and I'll go because right. this album was amazing. Um, and I love SZA, so yeah. That's they awesome. might live stream it. 
You never know. Yeah, it's giving it's giving Amazon Prime because you know a lot of the people have been doing a lot of Amazon live yep. shows. Yeah. So I have Prime. So if she does that, great. I'm sure she might she may do a festival run. Maybe I don't I don't know. She has a tour. She has tour dates though. So I don't know if she's gonna do festivals too. I don't know. But um, but yeah. So yeah, that's all for me. My my music and stuff. You have any music to listen to? I have cool. no new music. Oh, okay. Any 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 old? Oh, ones? except for um, what I've listening to lately. Steve Lacey. Oh, okay. That's what I'm listening to. Lately. I wish I knew. All right. Hey, it's all gravy and biscuits. All right, now. <laughs> well, that's it for her the podcast. Thank you guys for listening. You guys can follow me and Heard um, on Twitter and Instagram at Heard the Podcast, H E R D the Podcast. We're on YouTube, H E R apostrophe D the Podcast. Stream us everywhere on all podcast platforms. Like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And I'm out. Peace. Peace.